Today, I'm going to be playing out the career of CJ Stroud, but after every season, he's going to be getting a new wide receiver. And I mean, from what we've seen on CJ Stroud in his rookie season, he's basically just letting the league know that he is going to be dangerous and he is going to be around for a while. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens when he has new wide receivers on this team. But since we're starting in the 2023 season, wide receiver number one is going to be Nico Collins. And I mean, obviously, this duo did bring the Texans to the the playoffs last year we also have tank dell on this team so we got two solid wide receivers to work with so i mean right out of the gate i'm expecting stroud to have a pretty solid season and to start things off it looks like the texans had a very solid season going 11 and 6 to win the division and just like this year we're going to be playing the ravens in the wild card round and it looks like nico collins didn't have a bad season by any means i mean he finished the year with 989 yards for seven touchdowns but anyways unlike this season it looks like the Texans do have home team advantage over Baltimore. I mean, surprisingly enough, the Steelers did end up winning the AFC North. But either way, I mean, having home team advantage, I don't think it's going to change a whole lot. I don't want to say I'm expecting to lose this game, but we're going to have to do a lot if we want to take down Baltimore. Defense did just bring up a third down as well, so I kind of need somebody to get open here. I'm going to see if we can find Tank Dell, and hopefully this works out. Actually, that works. That's a first down. So that does bring us to the 39 yard line. So I mean, as long as we don't get sacked or throw an interception, we should at the very least be able to put three points on the board. But that's going to ramp a third down since we got shut down once again there. So I mean, if this play doesn't work out, we are kind of screwed. But it looks like we're going to have Robert Woods wide open. I'm not going to lie. We are doing a lot better than I was expecting us to on the first drive of this game. We got to keep this on the ground though. And it looks like Stroud is going backwards. I mean, we only lost a yard so it's not anything too major there but still that's gonna make it second and 11 i'm just gonna try and go back for dell because this guy has been open all game long and it looks like he's gonna be wide open again so that's gonna be the first touchdown of the game and just like that the texans are gonna take an early lead over the ravens we're coming back out here in the third quarter though and i mean as you can see no surprise that lead did not last very long we're down by a touchdown but as long as we score here that is gonna tie things up i mean that's a good start we're gonna get the first down with dell i'm gonna try and switch it up here though and see if we can get cj stroud going for a run here i mean if we can catch the defense on guard we're gonna be gone but it looks like we're getting caught by queen so unfortunately that's gonna set us back another three yards i'm just gonna try and go back to dell here though and it looks like he's gonna be wide open for the first down and some. I mean, at this point, things are going pretty smooth right now, so I just gotta try my best not to throw an interception. I mean, CJ Stroud has been on absolute tear today. That is one thing that I can confirm. I mean, he has not made any mistakes up until this point. The defense has been kind of on and off today, though. I mean, they were pretty locked down in the first quarter, but the second quarter, they were not as good. We're gonna find Dell again. I know Collins is wide receiver one right now, but it seems like like tank has kind of been doing all of the work up until this point i'm gonna see if we can end it off here with collins though it is third down so i really need this to work and it looks like he's gonna be wide open so that's gonna be collins first touchdown of the game and just like that houston is gonna tie things up so we're all knotted up at 21 if we want to win though our defense needs to start playing better but unfortunately for the texans it looks like lamar was just too much to handle i mean we put up one hell of a fight we only lost this game by three point so i mean if we can keep doing this i think the texans have a very bright future but anyways to end off the first season of this video it looks like dak is gonna be winning mvp and it looks like the cowboys are gonna take down the chiefs by three points in the super bowl but anyways that's gonna bring us to the second season of this video and this year it looks like stroud is gonna be working with stefan diggs i mean since this is gonna be the 2024 season i also went ahead and moved joe mixon to the houston Texans. And so they basically have the same roster that they're going to be working with this year. So, I mean, they look absolutely terrifying and I'm expecting a lot out of them. And once again, it looks like the Texans had another very solid season going 13 and four, but the Jags went 14 and three. So they won the division and we're going to be playing the Bills in the wild card round. And I mean, I got to say, Stefan Diggs kind of had a disappointing season. I mean, he didn't do bad, but he only had 996 yards for eight touchdowns. I was expecting like 1500 but anyways i mean it's pretty interesting
interesting to see how things are panning out. I mean, our first playoff game with Stefan Diggs on this team is going to be against the Bills, which is obviously his former team. Our defense did force a fumble, though, in case you're wondering why we had such good field position to start things off. After that, though, Buffalo did force a third down. So hopefully, come on, come on, let's go. That's going to be a first down from Schultz. I thought we were going to get stopped there. I'm not going to lie, but he kind of just kept plowing through everybody. So that brings it to the 24. I'm going to try. Yeah, that looks good. Let's go. Let's go, Diggs. That's a first down. So just like that, nine yards to go and we're in. I kind of want to go for a run here, but I'm going to try one passing play and see how this works out. Just because I really like the way that Diggs has been getting separation today, but he's getting popped. I mean, ah, dude, that should have been a touchdown. If he didn't get smoked at the end of that play, we would have been in. But either way yeah that's close three yards to go i'm not gonna lie though i don't know if i trust joe mixon enough to pick up three yards here i mean i'm gonna go for the run either way we really need our o-line to give us some blocks though because if we get stopped here we're screwed but it looks like we're gonna be in for the touchdown that was a little bit too close for my liking i mean i would have liked that to not go to third down but either way that is gonna be a touchdown from the texans to give us the lead first coming back out here in the third quarter though i mean once again no surprise we find ourselves in a very very close matchup we're only down by three points right now Come on, mix and get going. We didn't lose yardage, so I'll take it. I thought we were going to go backwards off that play, but we did get three yards. I'm going to switch it up a bit here, though, and try and go back to Diggs, who is wide open with a whole lot of open field. So that play right there is going to bring it to the 46-yard line. I'm going to try and go back for Diggs here and hopefully this can work out oh yeah that looks good that looks good that's another first down i mean right now the way that Diggs is playing it seems like he's pretty much unstoppable i'm gonna try and end things off with him right here that's gonna be close but it looks like he's gonna get separation and that is gonna be a touchdown from stefan Diggs. so that's gonna give the lead back to the texans if we want to win this game i feel like it's kind of in the hands of our defense at this point we're coming back out here in the fourth quarter though i mean there's 50 15 seconds on the clock and we're down by three points right now so i mean the game's pretty much on the line we have three attempts to try and punch this in though so i mean hopefully Diggs can get open and it looks like that's gonna be a touchdown so that's gonna give the lead back to the texans last second i'm really hoping that's enough to put allen away but there is still 11 seconds on that clock so i mean again the game is kind of in the hands of our defense but thankfully for us it looks like they were able to get the job done so we're gonna take a four point win over the bills which is gonna move the texans to the divisional round and as you can see it looks like we have another very tough matchup against the jaguars jags did end up scoring first though so we are down seven nothing i'm gonna start things off with dell and it looks like we are gonna get the first i'm really hoping this team can make it to the super bowl though i mean we have a very tough road ahead of us obviously because if we win this game that's gonna be hard to do first of all but if we win this game we're gonna have a rematch against the baltimore ravens who did just end up beating kansas city so i mean that's gonna be another very tough matchup but Come on, Mixon. That's a pretty solid gain. On the downside, the Jags did force a fourth down after that. It's fourth and three. This is a very long field goal attempt, and I don't feel like punting it. So I'm just going to try and go for Stefan Diggs. And it looks like that's going to work out for a first down. I mean, when you have a player like Stefan Diggs on your team, I think you're allowed to go for it on fourth down. But anyways... I gotta keep this on the ground, man. No, I'm not risking anything at this point. I'm just keeping it with Stroud. I mean, either way, we still got six yards off of that pickup. So that's a solid gain either way. That might go for a touchdown though. Come on, Schultz, we are three yards short. Instead of going to Mixon, I'm gonna switch it up and hand it off to Damian Pierce. And if he can punch this in, that is going to tie things up, and it looks like he's going to be in for the touchdown. So just like that, that's going to tie things up at seven. I mean, the defense played really well on that drive. I'm not going to lie. They made us work for that touchdown, but either way, we're in. But unfortunately for us after that, it looks like things did not go our way. I mean, we only put up 10 points. Our defense played well, but obviously so did theirs. I mean, that was a very defensive game, but either way, that's going to send us home. But anyways, to end off year number two, 
too. It looks like Patty Mahomes is going to be winning MVP. And it looks like the Cowboys are going to be winning the Super Bowl for the second season in a row with the win over the Ravens. But anyways, that's going to bring us to year number three. And this season, it looks like Stroud is going to be working with Jamar Chase. I mean, on paper, this is the best duo that we have had up until this point. So I'm hoping that Chase and Stroud do not disappoint this season. And it looks like the Texans ended up having another very solid season going 13 and 4 to win the division and we're going to be playing the Raiders in the wild card round and it looks like Chase ended up having a pretty solid season I mean he was the only one to get a thousand yards so far and he also had 11 touchdowns but it looks like we're going to get the dub against the Raiders in a very boring game so now we play the Bills in the divisional round I'm not too sure how we ended up with a three nothing game in the playoffs but anyways I'm hoping there will be more offense in this one Chase is going to be open to start things off. That juke almost worked, but we're going to get caught. Would have been awesome if that spin move did something there. But either way, I'm going to switch it up and see if we can get Collins open. Actually, is that Dell? That's Dell. Dell's going to be wide open for a huge pickup. I mean, it seems like we're already off to a pretty hot start in this one. I'm going to try and go back to Jamar here, though. That's dangerous. Come on, we got pop. If you would have held on to that, that obviously would have been a first down. But either way, it didn't work. So now we got to get this because it is third and ten. And this time, it looks like we're going to have Chase open. So that keeps the drive going. I mean, so far, Chase has been playing pretty well in this one. I'm going to try and go back to him here, but I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm just going back. Oh, dude, we're getting smoked. So that does, unfortunately, bring up another third down. So I kind of really need this play to work out. We need 15 yards here. Oh, dude, I can't risk that either. We're going down. I was just waiting for Chase to get open there, but obviously that never happened. I'm just going to take this instead of going for it. I mean, I feel like going for it on fourth and 19 would be pretty stupid. So I'll just take the three points. We're coming back out here in the third quarter, though. I mean, once again, it looks like we're in another very tight matchup, but we're down by nine points right now. So we got to make sure we get something on the board here. Let's go chase. I mean, if we give the ball up here and don't score, I feel like we're probably going to have a bit of an issue, but... Ooh, that's a huge gain. Let's go mix in. Okay, can we hit the juke? That's going to bring it to the 42. I mean, after that, we're kind of set up. This might not be the best decision, but if this pays off, this should go for a touchdown. So I'm going to try it anyways. That's kind of risky, but I'm going to throw up a prayer. That's going to work out too. That's going to be pass interference, and we caught it for the touchdown. So I mean, either way, obviously, that's going to count. So that's going to cut the Bills' lead to two points. So I mean, hopefully, we can get a chance to tie things up. But on the downside for us, after that, it looks like Buffalo just kept scoring. So this time, the Bills are going to be taking us down in the playoffs. And once again, that's going to send the Texans home early. But anyways, to end off year number three, one. Once again, it looks like Dak Prescott is going to be winning another MVP. And it looks like the Packers are going to go on to beat the Bills in the Super Bowl this season. But anyways, that's going to bring us to year number four, which is going to be the final season of this video. And to end things off, it looks like we're going to be working with Justin Jefferson. And I mean, with Jefferson now on this team, we are looking absolutely terrifying. I mean, Stroud is a 95 overall. Collins and Dell are both up to an 87. And then we have Mixon. I can't remember what he's at but he's like an 85 or something like that so if we're gonna win a super bowl now would definitely be the time to do it and it looks like the texans went on an absolute tear this season going 16 and 1 to win the division and get the number one seed but anyways it looks like jefferson did end up having a pretty solid season i mean he had 948 yards which is very low for him but he had 14 touchdowns which is a career high but it looks like we're gonna be playing the bills in the divisional round and it looks like we're gonna get the best of josh allen in the bills so now we play patty mahomes and the chiefs for a trip to the super bowl i mean obviously this is gonna be a very tough game to win but it's definitely doable casey did score first so we are already down three nothing but 
Hold on, Jefferson, please. That's a first. But anyways, this season, uh, CJ Stroud did end up going to a 99 overall. So that is definitely a plus for us. And then Jefferson is obviously still a 99 overall. So that's a 99 overall duo that we are working with right now. So I mean, at this point, if anyone's going to take down Patrick Mahomes this season, I feel like it is going to be us. I mean, obviously, if we don't take them down here, they are going to be going to the Super Bowl. Let's go, Jefferson. If we can get the job done here, though, that is is gonna send Stroud and Jefferson to their first Super Bowl. But anyways, I'm gonna try and go for a shot here. That's gonna be really dangerous. But it's gonna work out and Jefferson's gonna be in for the touchdown. So that is gonna put the Texans on the board i mean i guess that's gonna tie the game up i forgot we are only down seven nothing so that does put us right back in this thing and as you can see after that surprisingly enough it looks like the texans were able to get the job done i mean i shouldn't say surprisingly enough because this team was absolutely built but I honestly thought we were going to be taking an L to the Chiefs. But either way, that's going to send Stroud and Jefferson to their first Super Bowl. But anyways, to end off the final season of this video, it looks like Lamar Jackson is going to be winning MVP. And it looks like we're going to be taking on the Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl. So it looks like we kind of got a battle of Texas this season. So, I mean, this should be a very interesting game. I'm going to hand it off to Mixon, though. Oh, Parsons is shutting us down immediately. So it seems like that... That man is going to be an issue today. They did bring up a third down after that as well. So hopefully the O-line can contain Parsons because if they don't, we're screwed. But we're going to have Justin Jefferson wide open for the first. So that's going to keep the drive alive. I'm going to switch it up a bit here. If Jefferson's open, that would be great. Actually, that's all there is to... Oh, that's going to be picked off. I thought that was going to work out. Come on, catch him, please. That is a big mistake. And of course, after that, the Cowboys did score. We're coming back out here in the third quarter now, though. We're down 24 to 13. So things are not looking great for us right now. If we want to spark a comeback, I feel like we kind of have to score on this drive. So I'm really hoping we can do that. This might go for a touchdown right here, actually. The way the defense is set Set up on Jefferson just looks like a disaster from the get-go that's gonna be a huge play but we're gonna get caught I mean either way that brings it all the way to the 15 yard line I'm gonna go for a run of mixing because I'm not trying to throw any more picks with Stroud and it looks like that's gonna go for a touchdown so that is gonna put us right back in this thing I mean we're only gonna be down by four points now and there is still a lot of game to be played so we definitely have a solid chance at coming back after that though I mean as you can see it looks like the Texans did end up sending this thing to overtime so we're all tied up at 38 and we also have the ball at the 10 yard line so if this works out it's not gonna give us the win but that would mean Dallas is gonna have to go down and match a touchdown with us so if they don't score a touchdown and we do that is gonna give us the super bowl it is third down right now though so i need this to work and it looks like Mixon is gonna get in the end zone so that's gonna give the lead to houston so as long as our defense can get the job done that might give stroud his first ring and as you can see it looks like the defense was able to get the job done so after four seasons it looks like cj stroud is finally gonna get the job done with with Justin Jefferson as his number one wide receiver. I mean, it makes sense. That duo was absolutely loaded. The Cowboys went off today, though. I mean, they made it to the Super Bowl three times in case you missed it. And I mean, obviously, we had to fight for it because this was a very close game. But either way, to end things off, CJ Stroud and the Houston Texans are going to be hoisting a well-deserved Lombardi trophy to end off this video. But that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really help out the channel and if you have any video ideas feel free to drop them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out